<laughs> it is cool. So ninety three, uh, ninety three. You get you get the gig. How, how long? Do, how long until you're like okay? This is how long until you're spoiled? Spoiled. Yeah, uh, with money. <laughs> did it take? Did it take long? <laughs> it would take after we um, after we started DX. <laughs> really. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, look at yeah, WWF net ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. That that was a bad. That ninety five when I first came in was bad. You'll you'll shit when you hear my first six months. Thirty six thousand dollars. Yeah, you're right. I just pooped, dude. Um, no, that's not that's not good. Yeah. Um, well, it's not what I was thinking because I, I thought the thing with with uh, you should have got Crazy. paid. Uh, for that thing with Razor. And, there were some guys getting paid there, but not us. No, no, no. I, and I what? get it. And I look, when I came in as the roadie, I was it was on the tail end of that. Like it was, we were doing those double shots in tent cities and yeah. and all that stuff. So it was, we were working hard and not making. I was ending up owing them after I got draws. You, know you got I mean? your draw, right? Yeah. I ended if you up did floor, them. if you did the Florida run and got your draw, you might get a negative on your check. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's just how it went uh, early on. But you're. Yeah. You're right, it, but but like I was hurting so bad when I got that first call where they said, "Okay, we'll give you a hundred grand a year." I was just like, "Oh my god, I'm rich." Uh, I didn't realize you weren't rich when you made a hundred grand a year. <laughs> Man, no way! Not if you not if not if you had any kind of a life on the road. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You had to eat. You had to do something. I, I mean, I did way too much of something, but um, but I don't know that I would change it. You know, I think about, like, my, my, my daughter and I talked about that stunt man who, who got paralyzed uh, on the Harry Potter stuff. His, his uh, documentary just came out about him, and, and Daniel Radcliffe really stepped up and took care of that dude. Like, But I, I talked to my daughter, and I said, I guarantee you if you talk to that stunt dude, he would not go back and change one thing. Like, he did that for so long on all those movies, yeah, I, I made a ton of mistakes in this, but I, I don't know, man. I wouldn't change a thing. I had a it's blast. It's just not and... a good thing to even think about like that, man, because we can't do it. Yeah, you can't. We can't, you can't do go it, back. Man. You can't. This is our <laughs> journey. Yeah, this yes. This is our journey, man. And, and you know what is is so weird, and it's kind of I say it half heartedly, but I totally believe it. Like the journey is the destination. You know what I mean? Like that's some Buddha crap, but it's straight up it truth. Is. It's the truth. The whole journey is it. And so now to, for me, and, and uh, I just have to keep that in here. You know what I mean? And keep that in, and this is just existing and being right here right now is all I got to do, man. It's all I got, yeah. That's all I got to do. And if I can keep that in my head, it's just not easy. Uh, yeah. 93. Hey, do you ever go back, Brian? Do you look, uh, get in the time machine and go back and relive the, the old matches that you don't remember having? So, so I have <laughs> since on this podcast, I have had to watch a few and and go back and look at them, and and yeah, I I look, I think we were good. I don't want to be braggadocious, but I don't want to bullcrap them either. Like I. We were friggin' good, man. Yeah. <laughs> DX, the matches we had, like I saw one not long ago, it was just a hardcore fatal four way or whatever. It was just a eight man, like with weapons with the nation and all kind of crap, man. I don't know. We were, I just thought it was great. Like, it we, was were, fun, we were man. good. Yeah. It was, the, you talk about being in the thick of things. <laughs> <laughs> that's brad armstrong look i'm just yeah. happy to be here in the thick of things and yeah. i'm gonna see what happens <laughs> hey we were in the thick of things weren't we yeah uh, in about every, every segment week, man. A, <laughs> yeah let me ask you this kiddo and this is this is from my heart or from my brain uh, or lack thereof were you smart to all the stories and all the crap that was going on and that we were doing every week, or did you just show up and do it like I did? No, I was, I was like, you had it in your head. Like yeah, I, I well, honestly yeah, never. Yeah, Tim, Vince Russo would call me on a, yeah. uh, on a Wednesday and tell me what we, what was going on until I started shitting on it. Like when he was, <laughs> he quit fucking calling me after that. <laughs> Maybe maybe no, that's he why he didn't. He was good like that. Maybe that's why he didn't call me. <laughs> he called me once early on. 
Uh, I don't know. I honestly, like I think about, because look, I know now, ha having worked the past decade behind the scenes of the juggernaut, um, how much goes into this that not only did I not have any clue about, but I wouldn't have known what to do with it had I had a clue. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and so that's just, <laughs> I Brian, guess I'm trying I, I got to be honest with you, man. I wouldn't have known back then I, I never it never dawned on me that you were just like showing up and just doing it like i like i just assumed we were all like on the phone and like you know like i, I look and, i should have assumed that i should have known better with you <laughs> i don't know why i just don't ever remember hearing hey we're gonna do this next week with you I, I, it was just show up and I guess I would fuss then if I wanted to fuss. Yeah, you, but... did, you were good about that. <laughs> you were good about that. Yeah, I'll wait till I get there to, screw, to really screw well, it up. You do it, suck, suck. You do it. <clears throat> yeah. So, so we look. We and we did. Let's talk. Let's talk about DX for a minute, since we. Yeah. Since uh, it's my claim to fame, that's for dang sure. I'm. I'm. Is the is the uh, what 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 made me open my eyes to the craziness of it was that that nine months or that that. 10 months I had off that I got laid off and I was went out on the road with Billy doing autograph signings and all that. Is that still, is it still a hot thing every friggin' weekend everywhere? They still doing cons and autograph sessions and can, you know, all that stuff or they, is that yeah. still, yeah. cause man, there was, and I'm just talking to you like you were my friend and I don't mean to sound braggadocious to people who are listening, but there was so much money in that. I, I didn't, I was dumbfounded. Yeah, you talking about recently, more recently? Yeah, yeah. See, Brian, I try to tell people, like, in the middle of DX, in the middle yeah. of that hot run, yeah. we used to do these third-party appearances. They, <laughs> dude, I got sick of it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You remember yeah. Matt and JoJo? Like, oh, I remember, yeah. like, I was just like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> what was his, they probably were like, what was we'll his name? What was his name? What was Ned? Ned Needlander. <laughs> yeah. Mad Needle and JoJo, man, I yeah. haven't. That's from Bayonne. Yeah, from Bayonne. Yeah, we used to do. They would. They would do the Rock. They would do us. They would do. Yeah, I remember doing all those. I'm good. I made a. I made a. I made it. I made half of uh, the amount of money I made just working for Vince. I made half of that on those appearances yeah. in one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't doubt that at all. Because, dude, I, I was, and we you were, were doing them every bit as much as I was. I just got sick of it, man. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it, it was a lot of them, uh, and it was on the road a lot. And but, but, man, they're they're doing them now. Me and Billy went out and we're doing them. It yeah. was just like this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Um, I love it. But I, yeah, it was great. And it, but it made me think, like. Man, two a two year run in DX, uh, and 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 twenty five yeah. years later, I'm signing autographs for it, making yeah. making. It's just it was dumbfounding to me, and I don't know like maybe if it was like Elvis and Jesus at one table signing autographs, I'd probably wait in that line for that. But other yeah. than that, I don't think I'm waiting in line to get anybody's autograph. I thank you. Thank God for you who do that because you yes. supplemented my income when I was yeah. when I was not uh, when I was wondering where the next That's great. meal was going to come. I'm so <laughs> grateful for that. Yeah. And and I, I, this is the truth, man. I'm not just saying this. Yeah. I I I sincerely enjoy interacting with the people that come to those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I always. love it, man. Because when I make somebody feel good. It makes me feel good. Amen. So there's a little bit of selfishness there too. Like, of course it is, but that's dude. human nature. But you're put you're you're using your human superpower for positive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and truth and be told, Billy gets pissed at me because I'm animated and on fire. And come on in here, man. And we're gonna point at your penis. We're gonna smile. Take a picture. Hey, yeah, you too. know what I mean? And 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 they're popping and we're laughing and Billy's like, God, shut up, dog. And I'm just like, you yeah. shut up, Billy. And then we push each other. <laughs> 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 then I call him a doo doo head. Um, so so so. Eighty. I'm going to do a thing, and I'm going to actually do a thing in in the UK in Manchester in March. Oh, what is yeah. it? A Sonic? convention like? 
for the love of wrestling, I think it's called. Oh yeah, I, you know what? I'm I'm pretty sure that's the one me and Billy did last year, where I had an opportunity to meet like a, a lot of the guys that I had never yeah. met before on on the other squad. Uh, but but I also saw a bunch of old friends there, and uh, with tugboat, not Taylor, but the actual yeah. tugboat, ended up yeah. pushing him through the UK airport uh, because he, his ankle had swollen up or something. Oh, um, wow. yeah. But but. I had a great time and, and they treated us well. And it was, the hotel was right there. So I don't know if it's the same place, but we had a blast, man. We